Hi. What I'm doing is normal. Totally not setting up and trying to avoid saying something. At okay, I'm gonna stop joking. Hi guys. My name is Dave and welcome to another uh, video. Originally, I actually had a the video for the Let's Play for um, Luigi's Mansion Episode 2 set up, but something came to my attention that I would say is a lot more important to talk about. Something I've been meaning to talk about for a while and admittedly almost phased on it because there's just been so much going on, but an event recently, a discussion with a friend, a close friend of mine, um, brought this to light. I'm not going to discuss what it is, but I am going to point this out. As it stands as of this week, I am going to slowly start narrowing down the days I stream. Replacing those days with the recording for Let's Plays and editing said Let's Plays. I will not be uploading as often as I used to. I just won't have the time. Over the course of the next year, I will. Up until, I'd say, not May, like next month May, but the May after that. That's when things are going to really start to tumble. I'm saying this ahead of time just so I can plan for the future. Um, what I'm planning on doing is I'm planning on finishing up the streams that we're doing now. But once we finish with those, I am bringing all streams to a close. Especially since those streams were originally just meant. Yes, I love the interaction with those who like them, but the reality of it is, one, they were originally meant to help me cope with something going, something really heavily mind straining at the time going on. Many of you already know what it is. If not, then I'm just gonna leave it at that anyway, because I'd rather not discuss it because it's irrelevant at this point. But two, at a point, I noticed that the interaction was really nice. Are streams going to downright stop? No, but there are going to be many restrictions. I'm basically going to, as some of you may have noticed, I'm devoted, certain days are being devoted to videos, like either this or Let's Play videos. Right now, those two days are Saturdays and Sundays. Or, I guess if you're 12-hour difference for you, I guess it'd be Sundays and Mondays. But the point is, two days as it stands right now are devoted to Let's Play videos, and the other five are devoted to streams. That will be changing soon. Come June, when I finish up with the... If I do this, this is still up for debate... But, come June, once the DLC for the um, Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree, once that's been beat, I'm stopping Souls streams. And I will re be replacing that day with Let's Play videos. Eventually, I plan on taking some of the days where I don't do anything, because I do need to devote time to... Um, personal life. I've been focusing way too much attention on um, doing these streams and doing the videos that I and then I'd be like at work that I never really have found proper time for real life. And it's been causing a mental strain on me over the course of the past month. Recently Someone brought that to light, and I was like, you know what, you're right. I, I need to mellow down on the game stuff, stream-wise, video-wise, personal-wise, and just focus on other things. I also got to point out that this whole time, over the course of the past, I'd say maybe two years, I've been looking at the channel more as a second job, but realistically, it's more of a hobby, meaning... Streams are not going to come to an end just like two days a week, maybe. And when the year comes, when that point comes within the year, 
and videos will be scatteredly uploaded. What will probably happen is, like for example, the Luigi's Mansion video or the Dragon's Dogma one, like what you saw yesterday. Those videos, one day I'll uh, record it, the next day I will edit it, with it, and then it'll be scheduled for uploaded at 3 p.m., well, my time, but 2 p.m., Pacific Standard, I believe that makes it 5 p.m. Eastern Standard. Correct me if I'm wrong, those who live on those ends. But, actually, no, yeah, I think that's right. Anyway, I digress. Um, those particular, the videos will be uploaded at those time, at that time, the day after it's edited. And it won't be on a daily basis like it has been for a few years now. Honestly, it's I've noticed it started to impact not only my mentality, but my personal life as well in a very, very negative way. So, I'm on that front, as I was trying to originally say, I'm going back to form. Like I said, I'm not going to stop streaming, but it's not going to be five days a week. It'll probably be like two, if anything. And there will be designated times for those specifically. I just don't know what that time is going to be yet. For now, it's still going to be scattered. But I will be able to tell you guys that designated time come May of 2025. When that comes, I'll be busy with a lot of different things. But once that business... Once I can find an open time during that time period, I will let you guys know. And I'm going to constantly keep you guys posted on this. Um, now, admittedly, one of these things is a potential move that I am possibly going to be doing with Aaron and our friend Jake. I mean, been living in one of these kind of places for most of my living on my own life outside of when I was... Um, first married to Pink Fox, but even beyond that, I mean, it's basically always been in one of these apartments, and I do kind of want that to change. Also, the weather where I live right now kind of overweighs some things at times, and I might look to try to find some place that's warmer most likely will end up happening. I've got a lot of different other factors to consider if I do that, which I'm already working on. But that's outside of the point. Let's get back to the main thing. The reason why I say all this is because of all this planning, well, I am planning on narrowing down the streams and the gameplay stuff. Might replace the days missing with vlogs, sharing personal life experiences, because there's nothing wrong with that. But... Bear in mind, this is still a gaming channel. I want to bring it back to form, though. Back when I first created the channel, with the earlier videos of... Well, for example, when I showcased a song that I had wrote when I was like 7, 8 years old, and I played it when I was... What was I, like 19 at the time? No, I think I was 21. Yeah, I was 21 years old when I re uh, released that video. And then there are other skit-type things that I'd like to start working on with the individuals who I'm very close with uh, about the characters Bob, Karen, and, you know, that whole roster. This idea, admittedly, was inspired by Markiplier and Jacksepticeye, both who have basically been doing the same thing. And as much as the idea of creating like a canonical story for these characters is inspired by them the story itself isn't the story itself will actually be inspired by my own personal life I've already been working on this for a while I already know a backstory for Bob um, why he acts the way he does in fact I actually own a camera courtesy of some help from Aaron at the time when we purchased it. And we did attempt at something and something over on Bob's channel, I guess you could say, Beer Belly Bob. But that flopped. 
it didn't work out because we did one thing and then just several personal life things kind of escalated and collided and just didn't end up happening. And it didn't really match up to what the story I was trying to lay out in my mind presented anyway. And it's not just this stuff either. Another reason why I'm deciding to narrow down the streams and the video game plays um, to certain days back to its original form back in 2020 oh no not even it was like 2018 2019 back then when I would just do scattered videos at times when I had the capability to actually upload them that's what I'm aiming to bring back this is called nostalgia train for a reason I missed that time period but speaking of missing a time period on the internet that brings me to the last reason why I'm doing this it's not the main reason. The main reason is something much, much more personal. And I've already basically reiterated enough of it to solidify why I'm doing it. But the last reason is a project that Aaron and I are actually working on for you, Internet. I went around to people discussing this kind of thing, and I've talked about this before, but... There was an idea. I watch YouTube a lot on the side, along with Crunchyroll and some other scattered shows like Has Been Hotel over on Amazon uh, Prime and South Park on Hulu. And like I said, Crunchyroll. Those are kind of my main, main go-tos as of right now, but that's aside from the point. This site that's being built, this project that's being created wants to aim to bring back that freedom of creativity that just feels gone lost not there and I've asked around to so many people and so many so many in real life people who I actually know have said they thought it was a good idea to make this site, make this project. I'm not going to name what it is yet. It's still in its marketing phases. It's still in its earlier stages, but I am going to be focusing one outside of just focusing personal life in person activities with those who I care about. I'm also going to be focused outside of doing the let's plays and streams on making that project succeed it also means i will be making videos substantially specifically for that site i'll be reaching out to individuals d9 already knows about this um hopefully to help collaborate on this project d9 as it stands right now is more of a support individual which i do appreciate Man, if you're watching this, I really do appreciate uh, you for um, talking to me about that and supporting it. And for everybody else who's... So if you come across this and you supported the idea, thank you. Um, but even with that said, all of this, in the end, has made me realize that I would probably have progressed in these ideas a long time ago if I didn't focus too much of my attention on the YouTube thing that I was doing. I spent so much time wasting and draining my life away on doing, on working on YouTube when I don't even get paid to do it at this point, which I'm not complaining about, don't get me wrong, that's not what I'm saying. When throughout all this time it's been more of a hobby and I started treating it as if it was just life but it's not and for a fraction of my life it ruined me it almost permanently ruined me so with all that being said there's the announcement um, the streams will finish up I will be getting rid of certain consoles after certain games on those consoles for the streams are done. Uh, specifically, the Retron 5, the GameCube, N64, 
Wii U, or Wii, both, because it's a backwards compatible thing. Anyway, and PS2. Once those five, once the games on those five have all been solidified and I feel satisfied with the outcome, all five of those consoles are leaving and I will be focused on all of these remasters and remakes coming out. Seven Rebirth, Seven Rebirth sequel, the trilogy, the last part. Um, Super Luigi Galaxy is one that I'll be able to do whenever, but S Princess Peach Showtime I will plan on doing, but I have more open availability to that. Stuff like this, I am going to save for much down the line, because these are the two, the Switch, the Nintendo Switch, and the PlayStation 5 are the two consoles I am going to hold on to. All others, I will either gift to a friend, or sell. Probably pawn. Just for the sake, so I can focus on these personal life circumstances that I think will better myself. This channel is not going to end. I am going to keep going with the channel, but I am going to restrict myself to whatever after these binges are done and the specific let's plays of like Banjo Tooie, Luigi's Mansion, and Luigi's Mansion specifically. Maybe some of these if I can. But after those are done, Mario Galaxy 2, Banjo Tooie, Luigi's Mansion, and whatever's on those. And anything involving the binges that are needed from those, once those are done, those consoles outside of the PS5 and the Switch, gone. And I will be strictly focusing on stuff from those two, or not uploading or streaming on specific days at all. Just to get a better outcome out of my personal life. Because eventually I do intend, like, not just like that, but I want to prep for my own personal future as well. Even if I do start getting paid by YouTube or Twitch or whatever at a point, because the streams do go to Twitch as well, for those who don't know. Um, <clears throat> but eventually, uh, if I do end up getting paid one of those, I still want to make sure I'm devoting time to my future family. And if I keep going at the pace I am now, that will never happen. For several reasons. And I'm not willing to risk that. So, with that being said, now you guys know. For now, expect what normally happens. I might do two streams, like one earlier on in the morning, one later on at night, within a day. It depends on how I want to approach how fast I want to get through these binges. But we will slowly be bringing down how many binges a week, one at a time. I'm officially done with Liza P. I might play it on the side, or I might record myself actually getting the freaking neutral end because I messed it up because I didn't answer those questions properly. I ignored them because I was curious. That was a bad idea. That's what ruined it. So I might make a video on that. But beyond that, we're done with Liza P. After Shadow of the Earth is done, we're done with Elden Ring. And after that, we will be done with the Souls streams, leaving an opening for either a potential vlog or Let's Play depending on how I want to approach that. That pattern will continue until we're down to two days of streams only. I will keep you guys updated on how that's going to be approached in the future. Like I said, I hope you, I, I, I am just doing this just to create time for my personal life and to get my mind away from all these games because it did put me down in an addictive aspect and it's been doing it for a long time but as many addicts know no one ever just downright admits it until something extremely drastic happens that forces them to realize what's going on and in my personal life that has happened to me so with that being said that's what's happening hope you guys can understand if there's any confusion on it, you'll see what I mean over time, over the course of the next, hopefully, couple of months. I, I'm hoping. If not, then oh well. But if so, then yeah. Prep for that kind of thing. In the meantime, though, thank you. If you did, um, if you guys do understand what I'm saying and you do understand the circumstances, I really do appreciate it. Um, if not, I'm sorry. But once again, 
health, personal health and personal uh, IRL circumstances are kind of more important than video game Let's Plays from a YouTuber who only has admittedly probably just 2,000 at max true subscribers. The number says 12.6k, which I do greatly appreciate, but a lot of them... I have noticed more come from people who sub, but then don't actually watch. But with that being said, if you guys do like that kind of stuff, please consider, first of all, liking this video for like the vlog aspects, because we will be doing more of those again. Specifically psychology based, I miss doing those. And secondly, make sure to sub to the channel for stuff like vlogs like this, or let's plays like Banjo-Tooie, Mario games, Zelda games, if you like any of the above. Make sure to sub to the channel. You might actually enjoy those as well. Thanks again for watching, guys. Thank you for your understandings, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow for our next Final Fantasy binge stream. See you guys later.